Fish pie tonight, Baz. What are your thoughts? Oh, it's not just a fish pie, is it? It's a scallop fish pie. It's a posh mm. fish pie. Nice. And if scallops done well, there is nothing better in the world. Yeah, I'm up for it, as long as it hasn't got mackerel in it. Staying in is the new going out, but only if you've got great food and your mates with you. Unfortunately, we don't have any other friends, but the food is incredible. In each of these episodes, two of us cook up something awesome to share and to kickstart our big night in. Here we go. Whoa. Why not? A talking point. <laughs> what are they? They are our scallop and cod fish pies. Oh, amazing. So, with an amazing potato salad. Roasted potato, nonetheless. In a shell. What are we drinking this evening? Uh, this is a French sancerre to go with our French uh, fish and scallop pie. Cheers. 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 Oh, drop a crystal on it. So what do you make of the fish pie? It's delicious. Mm. It's exceptional. It's very, it's, I expect it's in a restaurant. It's not from Jamie. Fancy food. I oh, thank you. Would, you. would you believe us if we told you it was exceptionally simple to make as well? If Jamie was involved, then that's obvious. <laughs> fish pie needs three components. Fish. Fish. <laughs> A Pine. sauce and a lid. We're going to do the sauce first. It couldn't be simpler. Take creme fraiche and add to it the chopped up clove of a garlic, zest of a lemon, some chopped fresh parsley, and a little bit of French mustard. Four things. We've got the sauce. Now for the filling itself. Could not be easy. We've got a handful of broad beans. Yep. They were frozen. We've defrosted them, popped them out of the shell. They're going in, along with chopped up fennel, and then our fish. Two types, cod and scallop. I don't know why. This is sort of meal I expect on a romantic date. You're very welcome. I like that also that you're staying consistent with the theme. You've got shells, you've got a piece of wood that's washed up on the beach. <laughs> it's perfect. Now scallops are one of those ingredients that people get really scared of. They don't want to try cooking them at home, but they will happily order them in a restaurant and love them to pieces. We can happily tell you today, cook them at home. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're not easy. They're not the cheapest of fish. No. But, a couple of ways you can buy them. Either this way, very, very simple. They're already prepped, they're already out of their shell. Just buy them fresh, or you can buy them frozen and mm -hmm. chop them up nice and small. Or, you can buy them when they're still in their shell. And you can actually yes. shuck open your own. And if you do that, they tend to come with the coral or the row obviously still attached. Which was the question that Eric had. What can we do with this coral? Can we cook it? Can we use it elsewhere? A couple of options. You can see, it's huge. It's almost as big as the scallop itself, so don't waste it. Either pan fry it as it is, yep. just cook it the same way as you would a scallop, adds amazing flavour, slightly different texture, or you can trim it off and you can cook the coral separately and you can make an amazing coral sauce. So butter, mm. maybe a bit of saffron, your coral, some uh, maybe paprika, salt, lemon, classic kind of fish flavours, then blitz it up and it makes for an amazing fish sauce to go with any white fish. Eric, a little bit of elegance. I am looking forward to seeing your coral photos on Sorted soon. All we need to do though is chop up all our fish nice and small, add it to the rest of all our mixture, and then transfer it in our little twist into our shells. We're actually going to serve them inside of these shells. Ariel doesn't have a bra anymore. That's true. So you deshelled the scallops yep. to put them back in a shell. Yep. Correct. What? So you stuck that in the oven? Yeah. Yeah. I'd bung some prawns in this. You like shellfish? I love shellfish. I was concerned you didn't like fish, which is why we tried to make it fancy and put it in a shell. To try and confuse you. Put some sardines in it. I ain't eating it. It's going on the floor. But this You're is You're not great. a fan of oily fish. No. We get you. And the final section to our fish pie, obviously the lid. So grab yourself puff pastry, shop bought, roll it out, cut it to the shape of your scallop shell, wrap it over, kind of pinch the corners, egg wash all over, and then they're going to go into an oven, 200 degrees Celsius, for 15 minutes. Now these potatoes, are they roasted? Mm-hmm. You don't. Oh, of course. That's typical you. You don't. What do you like? Basically, we washed and drained the potatoes, mm -hmm. covered them in a little bit of salt, pepper, olive oil, roasted them off for 25 minutes. Do you know how else we're going to rock this potato salad? We're not going to use mayonnaise. We're going to push that over there, and we're going to bring in some sour cream. We're also going to add in some dill, some fennel, and some capers. The only important thing to remember is make sure that your potatoes are cooled down. Otherwise, you're going to split your sour cream and there's just going to be a lot of sour faces everywhere. Well, yeah. pretty good. Yeah, well done. And I have a question. You have a question? I do. Hey. From Maria. Okay. Oh. You guys are all schoolmates, no? Nope. Nope. 
<laughs> embarrassing school stories, got capital smiley face. So I think she wants embarrassing school stories from when we were at school together. I could probably fill this space with stories about Ben. What about the girl in your form? that used to sit next to you for two minutes a day while you did her homework that morning. As I said, we will talk to you for the rest of the day until the following day for yeah. two minutes while you do her the next At day. At the time, so I was very happy just to have the attention. In hindsight, <laughs> looking back, in hindsight, looking back, I might have been using the views a little bit. I've got a really embarrassing one for me. Why oh. would you do that? Well, there was a time where um, basically we're in, the, we're in the school hall and it was during lunchtime and, uh, and I thought, I was going up to my mate. I thought it was Jamie. Oh, yeah. And uh, I went up behind him. Oh, I know this. Every, the, the whole place was packed full of kids because it was lunchtime. I just went up and I slapped him on the ass and like grabbed his <laughs> bum cheek, yeah. thinking it was Jamie. Which is fine. Headmaster turned around. <laughs> just went, was bright red, just looked at me straight like, and I, I went, slapped him on the bum and just went, all right mate? <laughs> <laughs> and realized it was the headmaster. Was this the village? Yeah, yeah. Oh and um, my word. He, I just went, I'm so sorry, I thought you were somewhere else, like, sort of just ran away basically, um, and the following year he gave me a job. <laughs> so what's up?